The Oxford movement was a philosophy of high church members of the Church of England which eventually developed into Anglo-Catholicism. The philosophy, whose original devotees were mostly associated with the University of Oxford, argued for the reinstatement of some older Christian traditions of faith and their inclusion into Anglican liturgy and theology. They thought of Anglicanism as one of three branches of the One, Holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church. The philosophy was also known as Tractarianism after its series of publications, The Tracts for the Times, published from 1833 to 1841. Tractarians were also disparagingly referred to as Newmanites and Puseyites after two prominent Tractarians. John Henry Newman and Edward Bouvery Pusey. Other well-known Tractarians included John Keeble, Charles Marriott, Richard Horrell Froud, Robert Wilberforce, Isaac Williams and William Palmer. Origins and Early Period In the 19th century, in an attempt to broaden its reach, the Anglican Church assumed a latitudinarian perspective. During this period, the clergy consisted largely of evangelicals while universities would become the grounds for the restoration of a high church that borrowed heavily from Catholic traditions. The immediate impetus for the Tractarian movement was a perceived attack by the reforming Whig administration on the structure and revenues of the Church of Ireland. With the Irish Church Temporalities Bill, this bill not only legislated administrative changes of the hierarchy of the church but also made changes to the leasing of church lands, which some feared would result in a secular appropriation of ecclesiastical property. Keeble criticised these proposals as national apostasy in his Assize Sermon in Oxford during 1833. The philosophy's promoters criticized theological liberalism. Their interest in Christian origins caused some of them to reconsider the relationship of the Church of England with the Roman Catholic Church. The Tractarians postulated the branch theory, which states that Anglicanism along with Orthodoxy and Roman Catholicism form three branches of the historic Catholic Church. Tractarians argued for the inclusion of traditional aspects of liturgy from medieval religious practice, as they believed the church had become too plain. In the final tract, Tract Text C, Newman argued that the doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church, as defined by the Council of Trent, were compatible with the 39 articles of the 16th century Church of England publications. Apart from the tracts for the times, the group began a collection of translations of the Church Fathers, which they termed the Library of the Fathers. The collection eventually comprised 48 volumes, the last published three years after Pusey's death. They were issued through Rivington's company with the imprint of the Holyrood Press. The main editor for many of these was Charles Marriott. A number of volumes of original Greek and Latin texts was also published. One of the main contributions that resulted from Tractarianism is the hymn book entitled Hymns Ancient and Modern which was published first during 1861. Influence and Criticism Tractarianism was criticized for being a mere Romanizing tendency, but it began to influence the theory and practice of Anglicanism. Paradoxically, the Tractarianism was also criticized for being both secretive and collusive. Tractarianism resulted in the establishment of Anglican religious orders, both of men and of women. It incorporated ideas and practices related to the practice of liturgy and ceremony to incorporate more powerful emotional symbolism in the Church. In particular it brought the insights of the liturgical movement into the life of the Church. Its effects were so widespread that the Eucharist gradually became more important to worship, vestments became common, and numerous Roman Catholic practices were reintroduced into worship. This resulted in controversies within churches that resulted in court cases, as in the dispute about ritualism, partly because bishops refused to give livings to Tractarian priests. Many of them began working in slums. From their new ministries, they developed a critique of British social policy, both local and national. One of the results was the establishment of the Christian Social Union, of which a number of bishops were members. 
where issues such as the just wage, the system of property renting, infant mortality and industrial conditions were debated. The more radical Catholic Crusade was a much smaller organization than the Oxford movement. Anglo-Catholicism, as this complex of ideas, styles and organizations became known, had a significant influence on global Anglicanism. End of Newman's involvement in conversions to Catholicism One of the principal writers and proponents of Tractarianism was John Henry Newman, a popular Oxford priest who, after writing his final tract, Tract 90, became convinced that the branch theory was inadequate. Concerns that Tractarianism was a disguised Roman Catholic movement were not unfounded. Newman believed that the Catholic and Anglican churches were wholly compatible. He was received into the Roman Catholic Church during 1845 and was ordained a priest of that religion the same year. He later became a cardinal. Writing on the end of Tractationism as a movement, Newman stated, I saw indeed clearly that my place in the movement was lost. Public confidence was at an end. My occupation was gone. It was simply an impossibility that I could say anything henceforth to good effect. When I had been posted up by the marshal on the buttery hatch of every college of my university, after the manner of discum in pastry cooks, and when in every part of the country and every class of society, through every organ and opportunity of opinion, in newspapers, in periodicals, at meetings, in pulpits, at dinner tables, in coffee rooms, in railway carriages, I was denounced as a traitor who had laid his train and was detected in the very act of firing it against the time-honored establishment. Newman was one of a number of Anglican clergy who were received into the Roman Catholic Church during the 1840s who were either members of, or were influenced by, Tractarianism. Other people influenced by Tractarianism who became Roman Catholics included, Thomas William Allies, church historian and former Anglican priest, Edward Louth Baddeley, ecclesiastical lawyer, Robert Hugh Benson, son of the Archbishop of Canterbury, novelist and Monsignor, John Chapman O.S.B., patristic scholar and Roman Catholic priest, Augusta Theodosia Drain, writer and Dominican prioress, Frederick William Faber, theologian, hymn writer, oratorian and Roman Catholic priest, Gerard Manley Hopkins, poet and Jesuit priest, Robert Stephen Hawker, poet and Anglican priest, James Hope Scott, barrister and Tractarian, received with Manning, Ronald Knox, biblical texts translator and formerly an Anglican priest, Henry Edward Manning, later Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, Saint, George Jackson Mivert, biologist, later interdicted by Cardinal Herbert Vaughan, John Brand Morris, orientalist, eccentric and Roman Catholic priest, Augustus Pugin, architect, William George Ward, theologian, Benjamin Williams Witcher, American Episcopal priest, others associated with Tractarianism.